there's big budget crunches, and we need to get to those. <laughs> One of the reasons we're here is because we've done a lot in our education. All of our tribes have stuck together. We've all done different things throughout the summer. We've done things together. And um, we have a lot of accomplishments that we've made. Now we need to work on our employment and our economic development, and that's why we're here. Because some of our citizens now, as it stands, cannot sell their, their craft as native made. Some of these people could possibly open stores and bring jobs into our communities. Um, we're not saying that they will, but some of our people last year labeled their crafts as almost abnormal. And, and I was almost abnormal. Well, yeah, they're almost abnormal because I'm abnormal. I made them, but we don't have the recognition, so I can't label them as well. So I thought that was kind of a unique thing of putting a label on there that said it was almost abnormal. Um, like I said, we've come a long way in education. Um, and just to show you a few things, actually, these are for the committee. These are some initiatives that we did with our children to do with smoking cessation <coughs> and tobacco. We did that with the tobacco money. And this is a video that was done um, to deal with when we lost, when the state went against us for the federal recognition. We are the only the only group in the Northeast that have our children taken off the identified list for the No Child Left Behind Act. I have those scores here. That was a great accomplishment that our children at the Cisco had done because our schools were identified because of the minority of people. There was, there's 20% um, abnormality at high school. So our children are now off that list. I have that information. What does that mean to be off the list? Well, there's a, there's a Is it list. Is it off the list or off the list? It could be off the list. Off the list. Okay. We, are, we were identified by the um, state of education um, as our grade, our test scores were low at the high school. Um, the superintendent of our high school, or in our district, made an announcement in the newspaper on the front page that it was because of the Abenaki children in the school why we would be on the identified list. Um, it's, it was for low-income people, people on um, special education, and people in minority. So a year later, we're proud to say we are off the list, so we cannot blame it on the Abenaki children of why that school is identified. Um, there's been a lot of work between the Alliance. We, we went and we did a lot of public um, education, and we did that through the Quad Centennial. Um, each one of our bands has, has done astronomical things. Um, Nancy's band has done a language program as a curriculum. Um, we have all these videos that we all participated in, and this is through the Alliance. We also um, did what you asked us to do. You asked us to align and, and support one another, and that's what we've done. Um, back in 2006, when the first state recognition was um, established, the first thing that the Commission on Native American Affairs was going to do was a scholarship guide curriculum. To the degree that has not been done by the Commission. Um, we took the steps at the Cisco to our parent advisory committee and we've been working on a scholarship guide for two years. We're proud to say that it's in press. This will go to all schools in Vermont. It's for all Abenaki Native children and um, it's free. And we did that by fundraising so that we could offer it for free. And we offer it to all Vermonters, but it is a scholarship guide for Abenaki students. That means, uh, that, 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 so that's source material for, for housing, education, that kind of thing? That's mm -hmm. exactly what we need to do from uh, ninth grade and even at, even at junior high, right up through until they graduate, and what they need to do in order to um, go to college. Okay. How to apply, where there's funding. Um, who to contact, and if, if, if you would like to look at this, you can certainly send it. Can I ask you, if this is, are you saying that the Alliance, mm -hmm. maybe you should mention who I didn't, but it's in the bill, but can you mention the tribes that are part of the Alliance, and when you speak of these programs, do you speak that you've already started working together and all these videos? 
videos and scholarship. It's Correct. for all, 90 percent of. Uh, we've each done our own things as as tribes, and we've done things together. This was done by the Siswai, but it's for everyone. This was done by the Kalasaka Koa, but it's for everyone. Um, these were done by all of the alliance group and, and El Nu had a big part in a lot of these videos. A lot of it is their their history and what they do for education. And this is all a part of what they did for the alliance. Um, Luke has done things for the alliance and he has some documents, or I have them, I'm sorry. I have some documents of the things that have gone on. But we've all worked together and each tried it in their own thing, but it's for the common good of all of them. Senator Ferris? Yeah, backing up that education, I understand why it's a good thing that folks in the tribes are off, uh, no child left behind. But does that hinder the education and the college bound students uh, as far as grades and learning, or do you feel it makes no difference or enhances it? No, I think it enhances it. And it enhances it because we put students at the school. And that was our way of helping with the situation. Our children were in shock when they saw in the newspaper that uh, it's because of them that they're on this list. No, I understand that. And, th and like I said, uh, we have the article here that says Abenakis are off the list. But that was through initiatives through our parent advisory committee, who is a panel of parents for very dedicated to education. We also have, um, for the, uh, they, they also, the parent advisory committee has set up an after school program that we've been running for years. And it's called Circle Code. It's open to all children in our area. And we have natives as well as non natives that attend. Um, our after school program got a letter of recommendation from the State of Vermont Board of Education. That's another, another um, thing that we're very proud of. Because our kids, not only this program is for second to sixth graders, but our high school students come back and teach and help with these children. And they learn their culture. And they learn drumming. And they learn food. And they learn about their culture. Um, with this program, I'm proud to say that this year, at our annual heritage celebration, we will have our own drum. And it is our youth that will be playing it. That's a big accomplishment. Um, there's also other ways that the Alliance has talked about bringing in economic development into the city of Vermont. And I don't know how we would do that if we're not recognized. Because some of the things that we've talked about is doing tournaments and it's to do with snow snakes. And it's an Abenaki game, but once again, the Abenaki can be snakes. So can they be labeled Abenaki made? That could bring a lot of tourism into the state. And right now, that's discussions that we've been having. Um, we've been having discussions on how else we can bring economics into the future for our tribes. That is a big thing for us. And without this recognition or without people being able to label their things, we're not allowed. It, it kind of hampers a lot of what we're trying to do. For those of us who did work in the middle of the summer, what was the, uh, the transformation that occurred that brought you all together? Actually, the transformation came last year when we put the challenge to us. And, okay. and, you, and, and before, um, like we, we recognize each other's territory, but we also we also have the documentation that shows that each one of us has historical documents. Um, we've all sat down and discussed what it is we need to do for the Abnet, not just for our, our individual tribes, but for everybody as a whole. We're working hard towards the goals, and like I said, we've met the education goal. Now, our big hurdle is employment and economic development. And I can't be down here every day to lobby. I have a job. So I took a sick day today to come down here to testify. Good. Anything else like that? And I think uh, Homer would feel, my old friend Homer, how do you think he'd feel about this collaboration that now seems to be in place? I think he'd be proud of it. 
Uh, he's here with us today. So, shall I pass out some of the things that you have? you like. Is there anything else that any of the other chiefs have that I forgot? Language? Languages, yes. Okay, this is yours as well. That's from...